Before I begin, I want to amend the unfair criticism I did in 2020 in tweet form. It's, uh, not great. I really had no excuse or right for comparing another creator's characters or story like that. And I originally wrote that after seeing the first tweet I made, and I didn't realise I made another tweet and it's so much worse. So Pan, if you are watching, I don't agree with anything I said then. Even though you took it positively then, still I am sorry. So Spark is about the main character James, who takes it upon himself to walk in his father's footsteps with his team of friends, but he also wants to work for Lightning so he won't have to worry about school, and so he can become a hero and find his dad, who went missing, and who he believes is because of Viper, and the main villain, Daniel Collins. With the animation, I was very critical towards it in many eras in 2020, but three years later to say, and fully comprehend it was made by one guy, its creator, is very impressive, especially the length and the amount of time put into his passion project. Amongst his unique style, something I enjoyed was the thick outline with the small line art in it, which just makes the art style more unique than it already was, because in later years I've come to love more of the more unique styles of animation, not just limited to just movies, shows or games, and appreciate the hard work a lot of animators put out. Especially the new generation of indie animators who are, ironically enough, making better stories than bigger companies with more money. I also do enjoy the characters they set up, and a hint of the chemistry between them that's soon to follow for the episode, such as James and Anna. But another I can think of was James and Samara, and honestly they remind me of Ben and Gwen's dynamic, as I'd watched season 1 of Ben 10 a few months ago, where they would be childish but Gwen was the more mature one at times. However, in the end they still cared for one another, and that's not a comparison, just an example of one of the dynamics I like. I also enjoy the voice cast associated with the characters. Most voice actors fit with their characters, but admittedly some do take some time getting used to. And when writing notes through the pilot, I was about to write down in my script that James sounds a hell of a lot like Phineas' voice actor. And I was thinking it was a headcanon the voice actor used to inspire the character's voice. As I've seen some indie projects like has been using voices with still art, or when auditions were sent out like Lumi or Monkey Wrench, but no, it, it was actually Vincent Martella. The only thing I didn't like from my watch was the dialogue. Now, the actual written dialogue is fine, that's not the issue, it's sometimes it feels a little too spaced out at times, as there's pauses within the dialogue after someone says something. Exactly, James. Think about your future! Ugh. You're not telling me you're grounded, are you? You could call it that, yeah. I'm... I'm sure you'll know what to do with- Sometimes it feels natural, but I can't always say it does after a few times. Overall, I do recommend watching Swiss Park and the Defense 5 if you're a fan of indie animation. And if you're done and hooked on the story, I recommend checking out the webcomic it's based from. From what I can tell, the entire 700 page webcomic has been finished as of January this year. I might even check it out myself once I'm free from the bounce of my school shackles in two weeks. Anyways, spirit out.